Okay, what we're going to be doing today is replacing this. The hydraulic cylinder on this Quaker lift. It's attached to this terraplane tractor. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, the first thing I need to do, well, first thing you need to do is shut the tractor off, make sure there's no pressure in the lines. But then you need to disconnect the hydraulic lines. Make sure you hold the line with your hand, otherwise you could twist it. And then you just unscrew these. Usually they're not too tight because they have hydraulic fluid running through them and they stay pretty well lubricated most of the time. Same thing for the one on top. For these, it's an 18 millimeter wrench. Yours may be different, but I knew this was going to be metric because it's not American made anyway. So, okay, next thing you got is these pins to drive out. Now I already took, there were bolts in here holding these on. I already took the bolts out because they were rusty and I knew that was going to be a long, tedious process and it was. But, I got me this nice little bolt here for driving the pins out. I'll try the little hammer first and see what happens. right out. That makes me nervous. This one I expected to be kind of easy just simply because it's covered in hydraulic fluid from the leaking cylinder. This end is the one that's been leaking, as you can see it's a mess. Get my rag. You're working on hydraulics, always, always, always have a rag handy. Okay, that's resting on that. I'll tap this one the rest of the way out, and it should drop right in my hands if everything's working right. Maybe I can pull it out. Look at that, pulled right out. Well, the odds of that happening, huh? Okay. There's our old cylinder. Leaked like a sieve. I mean, it just... It just dumped it out on the ground. Like it was coming out of a jug. And now here's our new one. And the other side, when I put it on over there, there's my practice side. I had to do a little manipulating to get it to fit. This one might go right in. Wow, what do you know about that? Hey, all right. This one might just go right in the hole. So it stays clean on its own pretty good. Alright. Now, on the new 
cylinders, I have to do something different than I did on the old cylinders. I have to put shims in them because the center hole is a different size. Everything else is the same, but the center hole is a different size. So I had to buy these little shims that go up in there and make it the same size. Now one thing you don't want to do is forget the grease. These things, they like grease. And grease likes them. Excess grease, put it inside because you're going to want grease there too. Okay, let's see if this is just going to keep going as easy as that all the way through the installation procedure here. Little hooks and pins, I'm not going to just slide through. This is what happened on the other side. It fit in there really close to perfect. But the last, I don't have anything to pry with other than that. That last little bit though, it just wouldn't go. Take it over here and grind it, and we'll be right back. Okay, we just got done grinding it. I'll show you here. Hopefully, you can see that clearly. Had to take off around the edges a little bit because there's the welds inside of there stick out so far. Had the same problem on the other side. Now you notice I haven't taken the caps off yet because you don't want to get any dirt in there. I want to make sure this is going to fit before I do that. This was the tricky part on the other side too, getting this in there. pins before you can drive it the rest of the way through you want to line those pins up because you're going to have to put a, something through there bolt or something, bolt or something. so now we're over to the other side I do that oh, okay. there we are Ford tool. Once it starts going, you want to go easy on it. You drive it right through.
end up pretty close. You know, here, where it gets tricky, I have to pull this end out a little bit. stay out because the caps are on tight. Loosen the caps. It's got to. It's got to breathe. Got suction in there. So you gotta let some air in. There, I heard a kiss. You'll hear it hiss when it loses its pressure. After that, you should pull it out and it'll stay pulled out. in there. A nice coating of grease in there. Everything slides real good. Most away there. I don't have a lining pin. Looks like it needs to go up a little bit. So it needs a good dose of grease. There we go. And okay. I hate grease. Grease is almost as bad as tar. Lines up good. Wow. 
just too easy, folks. Too easy. Makes me nervous. Let's put these pins back in. Has a little nut that goes on it. I don't know that it's necessary, but it doesn't hurt nothing. It's a little waller and I'll tighten it later. And the one that goes here on the front, that one needs to be lined up a little bit, I think. can't find your punch. An old Phillips head bit that goes in a drill will work. Or at least it should work. That's assuming it fits in the hole. Okay, that didn't fit. I got a couple old screwdrivers. Certainly one of them will fit in there. Not really that old, but it's a cheap set, so if I break it, no big deal. $6 for a set of six, so we expect, right? And where's my bolt go? There it is. Bolt goes down in there. Where the hands go? Hey, 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 we're on the way business now. We're cooking the gas. That bolt fit right on in there. I don't know if I'm going to get the nut on it after all that. I'm going to try. starts to go on. Now the threads get screwed up, which is perfect. So, there's that. You know, I take these caps off. You want to leave them on until you're done so the oil stays clean in there. Got these little fittings on there so that I can attach the hose to it. First you tighten in the fitting, which I think is also 18 millimeter. Yep. You gotta make sure they're good and snug. Don't have to over tighten them, but something's always gotta fall, doesn't it? Yeah, hook the hose up. some of these things. There we go. 
go. There we go. Okay, it's on. Let's see, get the other one started. We'll be ready to put in the oil and try it out. That's what I'm looking forward to. Got some holes to fill in the driveway. Okay. This one's going to be tricky because it used to be the other way around. I don't know how this is going to work. Looks like it's sliding around pretty good. So, right on there. All right. see here hold on to that because otherwise it's going to want to twist when you tighten it like this one here it's going to want to go the other way on there. I gotta fill it up with fluid, fire up the tractor, see what happens. So let me clean up my mess a little bit and we'll do that. Take a video here. 